Uh, I am Joanne Holbrook, the author of Your Passport to Parenting, and this is my final day in Australia, and I couldn't leave without making sure that I at least came, brought you to the Australian Art Museum, saw some Aboriginal things, and then told you what I've learned from parents in Australia. So hang on, you'll see it right here. <laughs> loved about Australia and what I learned from the parents here is when you take your kids to sports field you know often you hear parents yelling at the coaches or yelling at the kid what to do but here they don't they don't do that all they do is yell out to their kids unlucky mate and it just takes all the pressure off it is such a great thing to do the sports field everyone is chilled the parents just stand there with a cup of coffee they chat their kids come off and they just say she'll be right and that's it, and I love that. So something that I've really taken from Australia here and that I've grown to love is the swearing. Yes, I know, I said swearing. But here, it's completely different to anywhere else I've ever been. And what I've learned from Australians is that throwing in a swear word into a conversation is completely fine. It's the intent behind it that matters on the swearing, not the actual word. So my children now don't get phased when they hear swearing. They just think of what, is it the intention good or bad? If it's good, they laugh at it. If it's bad, they move away. But that was something that's really powerful here is the whole swearing thing. This picture reminded me of a story that I heard when we were in the Northern Territory. We went and spent the day with an Aboriginal woman who explained to me how they teach children. So they have a little bit of an outdoor Aboriginal school and every part of the school tells a different story with the moral attached. What was beautiful about this was that they add in fairies, they add in a little bit of magic, but the moral of the story is very strong and I love the fact that they did this because that's how children remember. So anything they needed the children to understand was just a part of the stories and they would be from place to place to place. There were probably 12 stories and it was such a beautiful way to teach your children morals. Another very important thing that I have learned from Australia is to chill out and slow down. If you want to have a cup of coffee here, you sit down and you have a cup of coffee. You don't walk with your coffee. You sit down and enjoy your cup of coffee with your mates. And that is something I will always do. As I start a new chapter in my life by moving to Hawaii, I'm so grateful for this time in Australia and for everything I have learned, whether it be from people, culture, and everyone I've met. Thank you. Thank you.